guys, good evening. Marianne here again with you from Auto House of Naples. And tonight, I really want us to focus on rare cars. I always exhibit specialty cars, exotic cars, low mile cars, but tonight I have something that is extremely rare. It is a 1979 Cadillac Le Cabriolet, and this car originally started out as a Coupe de Ville. And if you guys know anything about the company Hess and Eisenhardt, company which was out of Cincinnati Ohio you know that they built coach and uh, they built I believe they were the limousines for all the presidents in the United States and they were well known for that for decades and then uh, eventually Cadillac got in touch with them and made them the person or the company excuse me who built these Coupe de Villes into convertibles and they were so expensive that they were one more expensive than a new Rolls Royce during that year and they also were so expensive that they couldn't sell them if, unless it was somebody who's extremely rich and therefore what happened was they only built a total of about 300 that's at max and these days you know, we assume there's at least half, probably less than half, still out there. There is some things about the car. It definitely has some patina, but if you would like to maybe make it into something more spectacular, you can do so. Here at Auto House of Naples, we buy and sell cars. We have great inspectors. We have uh, those who, uh, mechanics who goes through all the cars, but we don't have a restoration team. So what we decided to do is still showcase the car to you, price it to sell reasonably to where if you decide to put your own time and money into it, you could actually do so. And this is the Heston Eisenhardt uh, emblem as well, which you don't want to break that off this car because if you do, you are probably going to have a very hard time finding one. And this massive engine underneath here is about 425 uh, cubic inches, which converts to seven liters, and it is a V8 engine. Huge, massive, original. Everything on this car is original, and nothing is missing except there is a little piece on the interior, which I will show you, that you could probably find to replace. It's just a tiny piece on the door, um, but really other than that, I don't believe there is anything other uh, anything else that is missing or that is not original on this car and you can see the chrome is still nice and proper and of course you have your original Cadillac tires with the white wheel uh, the white walled uh, wheels and there is some things you do have the power antenna for the radio which still does work and I'm going to show you the interior a little bit and you know again it's not perfect you can see there are flaws on the interior but we wanted to sell it this way again price to sell properly uh, because somebody who really wants a rare vehicle you could still take this car with a write-up to a, a show a car show and show this vehicle there's no reason why you couldn't do it just this way because they are that rare but if you wanted to put some time a little bit of money into it you could really get all of the upholstery um, done nicely at a local shop and um, make it to where maybe you were a little more happy with it I would be happy with it just as it is because nobody else or barely anybody else has it you can see the Le Cabriolet here and these uh, bumper fillers, I believe is what they're called. A lot of times those are missing. Uh, they are obviously still here. Again, that is because everything is original and 99.9% .9 of the uh, original parts are still with this vehicle. And here, I would like to show the paint. Uh, you can see a little bit of bubbling throughout the paint. This is common in these areas of these vehicles. Uh, because of the lacquer that they used back in the 1979 and it, you know again we want to make sure we're very thorough with you there's no hidden surprises to this car that's why we show it as it is and we actually 
purchased this car from a gentleman here in Naples, Florida, and he owned it since 1989, so he was the second owner, and he loved this car. He was a mechanic from uh, GM Motors, and he was a car collector, and this is one of the cars that he had in his collection, and it was just time for him to part with it, but I do also have some of the uh, service records that he uh, provided for us and his family did, and here you can see the basically original bill of sale from him in 1989. Here's the warranty, the buyer's guide, and we also even have here the registrations, uh, some of the records. So you'll see here with the records, one of the good things is uh, they also note the mileage during uh, the time of the records that we have. So it's not it's all the records to the car, but it is a lot of them. And it's hard to say that you can have that in this type of car in 19, that's a 1979. So I'm gonna take it out for a test drive. I'm also gonna show you uh, the top operation. It works flawlessly. All right, let's start it up. One thing you should know is that we do have multiple keys to the car and we are aware that the odometer has rolled over once so there's actually a hundred and seventeen thousand three hundred and twenty one miles on the odometer and in fact driving the car out here to the house today i i can tell you that it drives flawlessly the steering column the suspension it's precise um the radio works the air conditioning works oh because if it didn't i would be dying and very upset if i had to drive this car with no air conditioning uh, i had the top up so again very good air conditioning uh, you can see the cadillac emblem here on the steering wheel is still very nice and proper and i mentioned one piece was missing from the car it was right here but it's on the back side of the handle here on the driver's side um, very difficult to notice but it is uh, still missing and it's just that one piece you probably could find it in a junkyard of sorts if needed uh, one thing I did notice on the test drive is that we have sl uh, some flat spots on the tires because it did sit inside the gentleman's garage for a couple years um, and it wasn't driven as much other than to get some general maintenance done to it also here again this is your radio the original radio the original air conditioning this is how you change your mirrors the uh, cruise control of this car works as well the air conditioning once again uh, the uh, defrost also and uh, again we do have an ashtray and multiple keys so uh, you have the original GM keys and you also have one extra key that was made for the vehicle and the lights work as well along with the windshield wipers and I did make one mistake on my walk around and I'm going to talk about it on my acceleration but I said that uh, the gentleman was a mechanic for GM I'm so used to our mechanics at Auto House of Naples that is not true he was an engineer for <laughs> GM so I apologize for that um, I just sometimes forget exactly um, what it is but again he was an engineer for GM Motors in Ohio so awesome acceleration this car is amazing if you're interested you don't want to miss out on this rare opportunity in column here we have the top switch and all you do is push up and you hold it and it goes up flawlessly for you as you can see and I'm also going to put the top down for you so you can see both the top operation going up and the top operation going down for you. And here it is going down. So again, a flawless top operation that it's very hard to find one from 1979, which is as great as this one is. Maybe, can you show me the windows too here? Oh, yes, and the windows, y'all. Just like that. I'm hoping 
really a trust on the buttons, sorry. The buttons aren't like 2018 models. There you go. Okay. And then down, I'm going to do the front two first. And then I'm going to do the two back. The uh, buttons, you have to put a little more pressure on than you have to do in newer model vehicles, Mercedes-Benz and whatnot. It's not the same, obviously. It's not one that. I thought it was. <laughs> I was like, oh, sorry, I got to do that again. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, Thank those you. work as well. I realized I didn't show you guys the trunk on the walk around. I got so excited to tell you where I got this car from that I forgot to show it to you. You can see there's a very nice trunk space and here you can see the jack usage instructions, the original ones and plenty of trunk space and that's how it closes. Wow. If you have any questions about this rare masterpiece, don't hesitate to give us a call. It's 239-263-8500. Our website is autohousenaples.com. That is the German spelling of house, H-A-U-S. We ship worldwide. We have shipped to basically every country and it's no problem for us. We help arrange shipping. Even if you're in Wisconsin, California, or if you're in Europe, it doesn't matter to us. We will get the car to you. And again, my name's Marianne. I do the sales and I showcase the cars here at Auto House of Naples. And I will see you guys on the next one.